Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. I finally finished this project. I was asked by a subscriber uh, about a few weeks ago, and I'm sorry that it took so long, to do a review and comparison of the Brunfurner, and please pardon me if I don't say that right, um, and the Prismas. I had to do a lot of research. Uh, I colored a page with just the Brunfurner, Brutfurners, or Brutfurners, and a page uh, with uh, the Prisma. Um, I had to make sure, you know, I had my research in order. I've got these, which will compare the a Prisma and then what I think are, are its equal in the Brutfurner or Brutfurner. I don't know how to say it. Um, so, you know, I had to get that together. And this I made up myself, by the way. So, um, but yeah, let's get started. So, first of all, I have for you something that I'm going to show you. This is, I don't have the original tin that the Brentfurners came in. Well, I have the tin. I don't have the cover. So, I'm going to show you. This is the tin that it comes in. As you can see, it's very deep. I have gel pins inside of it now, but it is very deep. This this is how big this tin is. I mean, look at that. It's it's freaking huge, right? This is the pencil tin that they come in. Um, let me figure out where I'm going to set these. Um, I went to my backup copy of Prismas that I had gotten over Thanksgiving and opened them so that you guys could see how they're laid out in the box. I have had mine out and used in a pencil case. And um, here, I'm going to pull this off of my camcorder thing so I can show you guys. Bear with me. All right. Excuse me while I put this on my hand. Pardon for the wobbles. Um. This is. Oh, say hi, Ivy. Ivy. That's my cat. I know she's fat. Say hi. Don't give them the demon eyes now. Come on. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Uh. <laughs> Um, this is the actual, actual, one of the actual Prisma cases that I have not used so that you guys could see what, I was a little unhappy when I saw that, um, but they all seem to come like that. Um, so this is how they are laid out in the case that they come in. It's two, two cases to a row and they're sort of kind of by like color grouping, like here you have the, um, the, uh, how you say it, the, like the oranges and the yellows. And over here is kind of like the maroons and pinks and beiges. And if you pull it out, um, this is kind of how they're, how they're all laid out. So, I'll show you, sorry. That's kind of how they're laid out. And I... You know, Prismas, I mean, for the price, they're worth what they are now. Uh, they used to cost a little, lot more, but the quality was a whole lot better. Um, you know, they got outsourced, and um, the quality is not what it used to be. But uh, thanks to a streamer or artist or whatever, uh, she posted that they uh, were offering them for 70 on Amazon. I was like, what? So even though I totally don't need it, I went ahead and because I I didn't even get them that low on on a day after Thanksgiving, so I was just like, yeah, I'm getting them anyway. So, um, but yeah, this is kind of how they how they look, and this is I think the last row, yeah. So as you can see, they're they have a huge selection of grays. These are the I believe the French. Let me see. Hold on, let me. Let me make sure. It's been a long time since I looked at them, how they come. Let's 
see. I'm doing this so that you, hopefully you guys can pick up on the pencil. Excuse me, I don't want you to see my entire room. Uh, my lights are being stupid. It's just so doggone shiny. Hmm. Let's see. I'm, I'm trying here. Yikes, you didn't see that. <laughs> well, I can't get it to stop flashing. Doggone it, that drives me nuts. light is just hold on a minute yeah. let's see if that helps there we go that's a little better I'm just trying to decide if these are okay yeah these are the French oh these are warm grace okay I wanted to be sure warm grace cool cool grace French grace and then your metallics and these are like your greens, olives, warm tones, like your peacock purple, which a peacock green, which blue. Peacock green or blue. Hold on. Let's see. I forget, honestly. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm not super experienced with Prismas. Um, I have, if I'm going to do soft, I typically will go to Color Soft from Derwent. But, um, you know, for the price, I since I have so many of them now, I probably will use them more. Let's see. These is turquoise. Oh, I wasn't even remotely close. This is turquoise. Wow. It resembles the peacock blue a little bit. And then there's your purples and some more blues. There's lots of blues and greens. So that's kind of like how it comes in the box and I am sorry that I don't have the brunt printer um, but if you look on my channel I have a great review that I did of the brunt, brunt printers um, so um, and it shows them before I you know throw out the case <laughs> uh, yeah so or not the case, but the, uh, I don't know, the wrapping. This is what I currently have my pens, my two pencil sets in. Isn't this beautiful, you guys? Look, this, this company, um, I mean, they're Chinese, but still. Look at the case. It has a, um, some of my cases even have a strap. This one has a zipper. It has a, a handle. So, if you want me to look up the links for these cases, I would be more than happy to do that. Just pop it in the comments and let me know. And I will be more than happy to do that. But this is, as you can see, they, they have definitely been used. Um, I have them kind of sorted by type. but um, And it's an old set combined with the new set, which is why I have... I If you do get this case, I recommend... I know this is a rabbit trail, but I do recommend that you put the little bitty ones to the outside... Um, because it, as you can see the corner kind of rounds so I have found that um, the full length ones um, if you put them out in the corner they tend to break especially when they're a soft pencil like this so that's just food for thought but yeah that's as you can see that it's well used and then whoops this is another pencil entirely but I think I did a review on those I'm not great remembering okay here's the brunt for nurse um pull one of these out so you can see oh yeah again that that shiny it just there we go this is actually better the prism is just I could not the, the print was so small I just could not get the light to um, focus but this one's doing a little bit better I apologize for the blurriness. I have tried to fix that. I have tried everything under the sun to fix it. And it just... So, yeah. 
it, it's it's something I am working on. But yeah, these aren't. Look at all the beautiful colors these come in. They are oil based. That's one of the differences. The uh, Prismas are wax based, and the burnt printers are oil based. Now the that in itself makes them stronger than the Prismas. Um, so they can handle being put into an electric sharpener. Prismas, I don't recommend that. I recommend a Dahl, D-A-H-L sharpener, or a, a very sharp uh, German uh, steel-made uh, sharpener, um, because otherwise they just, the cores kind of break from inside and fall out. It's a mess. Depending on how far up it breaks, your pencil might be done for. So... But yeah, these colors are just amazing. They do get used up a little faster than, say, like a Faber-Castell Polychromos, but um, not too much faster, just a little bit, because they're probably a little less oil than the um, Faber-Castell, maybe. But they are definitely stronger than the Prismas. But look at all these gorgeous colors. Isn't that amazing? And here's the metallic ones that I did a picture just with the metallic front printers. It was gorgeous. I was really happy with the way that came out. But yeah, look at all these gorgeous colors, guys. I mean, it's just the whole set was $40 for a 180 piece set. That's even, I mean, it, it kind of like, it's mind blowing, honestly. So yeah, but there's that so i'm going to stop it now and put it back in the case and i'll be right back okay i'm back so i'm going to start with the brunt brute printers oh, i'm just going to say it that way um this is the swatch and i know it's not the most sophisticated swatch sheet you've ever seen um not even pretend it needs to be redone totally uh i just have not had the time or the energy <laughs> but this is basically a, at least a doable copy of them um so it it was so big it actually took two two sheets two full sheets i mean it's pretty ridiculously big 40 bucks on amazon prime uh i don't know you know what the equivalent is in the UK I'm not really acquainted with British money or European money uh, I'm sorry but that's probably not hard to research so these are the colors and I think they're gorgeous and I mean it has a huge selection of blues uh, and grays and a big selection of pinks and there's more greens it's gonna go flying there's more greens over there so that's kind of you know that and i'll bring this up closely so you guys can see a little bit better Doo -doo -doo. i'm sorry about earlier about the pencils i have tried multiple different things and i cannot get the, it, they're just the ref, the print the labels are so reflective that I just I legitimately don't know what to do. So I've got to do some research and see if I can figure it out. But I am I'm sorry. So this is the rest of it, and um, so and by the way, the the reason why they have the holes in them, I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, and uh, put the numbers here on the side and I ended up having to punch a hole in a couple of the numbers. So stupid. <laughs> uh, but they go in my book, which this is just the pencils, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's just the pencils. I have a whole another folder for my like wet media and pastels and stuff. So yeah. I got a lot of stuff. And these are the swatches that I did. And pardon me if I break out this every so often. Um, 
I have major vision issues, even with my glasses, which need to be updated. So I basically am going to bring this in so that you guys can see, um, look close at the swatches that I made. Yeah, and I apologize for the poor lighting. I'm sorry, guys. Let me see if I can fix that real quick. There we go. Hopefully that's better. No, it's not. Uh, hold on. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, that's basically the light. Or the, the swatch sheet. I cannot. Words are hard. Um, there we go. Aren't those pretty? Uh, if you want a, um, a PDF of this, I'm pretty sure that I'm capable of converting to PDF. I, yeah, I have a, a, a an editor editing program, um, that is really nice and I should be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, aren't those nice? And I'm going to leave it there for a second so that maybe you can write, if you want to write something down, you can. I worked very hard on that. Isn't it pretty? So yeah, if you want a copy of this, uh, I would be more than happy to send that, to convert that to a PDF and send it to you. I have no problems sharing this. Totally free. So just let me know, okay? Um, let's see. Let's move on. This is a picture that I did totally with, oh, oops. Oh, man, that's not good. <sighs> I'm having issues. <laughs> it's one of those days, guys. This is a picture that I did with the Brut printers. I used, I calculated that I used about... I might have used, let's see, I hope that's a little brighter, guys. I upped my lighting a little bit. It's cool. It's on an app and everything on my phone. It's it's pretty neat. So, yeah, I used probably half of that 180 pencil set. I I had a, about the same, if not just a hair more, in the, the used pencil pile than I did in the case. I mean, isn't this gorgeous, guys? I'm so proud of this picture. I It's from uh, Coloring Book Cafe, Easter book from last year. But isn't this gorgeous, guys? I am so proud of this picture. I mean, look at the, the coloring, shading and stuff. I am absolutely so proud of this picture. I absolutely love how this picture came out. Whoops. If that reflection that you saw, that's my light. I have yet to figure out how to make those not show up. I don't know, but I'm super proud of this picture. Um, I, I, I love how it came out. Um, let's see, what was the other thing? Oh, right. So, the Brufiners... As I said, come in a uh, 180 uh, piece set, and they are. Here, hold on, sorry. There we go. Let's put this back so you have something nice to look at. They come in, a, 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 like I said, the 180 piece, 40 US dollars. Uh, they are, their metallic uh, selection is wonderful it's it's twice as big as your average pencil set really nice uh, it's a mildly soft lead so i would say it's probably here let me pull one of them out it, i would say it's mildly similar to here's one of them oops da, da, da. i don't know if this is gonna work or not there we go da, da. the we have the uh, name and number on one side, and then the pencil name on the other. It is capped. Um, they around three 
finish in millimeter and core. It's gotten a four to five star rating. They do blend really well. They're very similar to Shapiro Farben's. Uh, if I'm going to compare it to another um, poly pencil, they blend excellent, excellent blendability. Uh, the pigment lay down is amazing for a budget pencil. Um, I would recommend a light to medium drawing paper not something with heavy tooth but some tooth light to medium like a Strathmore midway I'd say like 60 to 80 pounds would be good um, they don't fall out of their cores like Prismas do <laughs> um, I think the casings are probably a little bit better for especially for a budget pencil um, the silver Bruckner seems to be harder than the rest of them, which is really weird. Uh, most silver pencils are usually softer. I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but, you know, I thought that was worth mentioning. And the Prismas are brighter in pigment, but, you know, they break a little bit more. So... There's that. Now, I'm going to move on to the uh, Prismas. So, I hope my music isn't too loud. I just, I don't know. I'm going to put something on. Uh, so, here is the swatch sheet. And it's not, again, my, I, I kind of need to redo this, but it's a little better than the other one turned out. Um. This is, whoops, do this this way. So, there's my uh, swatch sheet for that. Whoops. See, I would do this head on, but then the, um, my lights show up. So, see what I mean? It's like, I don't want you guys to see the lights. Ugh. Technology really is not my friend, honestly. So... I think an off angle would be better, to be honest, than those. It, it, you know, you people might think that an alien's descending in my house or something. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, that's the uh, Christmas swatch sheet. And I have the full 150 set. Well, I'm going to have it times two now because of the... The uh, deal that somebody pointed out to me, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> so, Christmas are kind of their own little animal. Uh, I mean, they're not, in my opinion, as pigmented as the Derwent Color Softs. Uh, and the Derwent Color Softs don't fall out as much, but for Christmas being what they are, um, I, at between 70 and 200, the low being the 70 deal I just got today and the highest end of it I saw at Michael's craft store for 200. Uh, that's the high end of it for, for the 150 piece set. It has a really good selection of grays and blues. I mean, it's it, it has a really balanced selection. So, you know, and the, like, the beiges are amazing. And that's uh, these right here. Their beiges are amazing. And that's chartreuse. Oof. Uh, so that's what that looks like. I did a picture. I have not had a chance to fully finish it, but the part that I did color is totally Prisma, and once I get the rest of it finished, I will put it in my book. Ah, hold on. Oops. There we go. <coughs> and get it laminated also. So this is the... Oh, there we go. That's... The uh, picture that I did with just Prismas and uh, a uh, Uniball uh, or a Posca pen, I think it was. 
I really love this. All I gotta do is just finish that outside part, but it was totally done with a Prismos and a Posca pen. Isn't that beautiful, guys? I am so proud of this. I it the flowers like took me forever. I think I did a little happy dance when I finished them. <laughs> but that's how the Prismos lay down. And again, this is medium to lightweight to medium uh coloring paper drawing paper i wouldn't recommend i would not recommend heavy heavy drawing paper for this or mixed meat mixed media because it's too toothy and it will just you'll blow through you'll absolutely either have to put on twice as many layers or you will totally blow through your pencils. So I really recommend a, um, a lightweight to a medium. Uh, it just does better. This is a um, this is actually by Glick. This paper, it's sixty between sixty and eighty pounds, somewhere than that. Uh, and um, it's really excellent drawing paper. I really like it. It's somewhat smooth, but not like marker smooth. So there's that. And the this is the. Uh, so bring it in here so you guys can see. These are the blends that I did, and I apologize for the shadow. Um, I I don't have professional lighting yet. I I'm working on it though. Um, in the meantime, I really do hope you will bear with me. So, uh, this one's probably my favorite. Normally, I just did a, a various from dark to light kind of thing, but this one, this one, see if I can get it to show up. That one is my favorite right there. I love it. It is, uh, one, one oh nine. 105 and 1028 or PC 1028 as one of my fellow streamers would say this is such an amazing combination I absolutely love it it's it's fantastic and um, this is probably one of my favorites too at least so I can get it to show up so that's kind of some of my combos. And again, if you would like a copy of this, I am happy to convert it and share it with you. I have no problem with that. You know, I, I think some things are maybe proprietary um, and some things, you know, are okay to share. And this, I think, is okay to share. So I don't have a problem with it. Now the um, I have to mention, not the the template, the blank template which I put in the brunt printers, and this template was by Coloring with Faithful Girl, uh, nineteen seventy eight. Oh my gosh, please don't quote me on that. It's a Belinda. Everybody knows Belinda. She's the one. Uh, she did a bunch of these type things for her patrons on Patreon. I highly recommend going to Patreon and um, becoming a patron for, uh, of hers. She has so much content, it's ridiculous. Um, it's absolutely worth the money. So, and she's, you know, been doing it for way longer than me. I am totally dropping things. There, sorry about that. My, uh, Laminated stuff is deciding to be very uncooperative and slide everywhere. Ivy, what do you want? <laughs> you guys, Jesus Christ. God, I should be eating. <laughs> this is my cat, you guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I had to show that to you. 
I just, I literally had to show that to you. <sighs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's just get back to business. I'm sorry. That was just too funny. Oh my God. My cat. I, I don't even know what to do with her sometimes. She's, she's like 15, to your, 15 years old and despite not overfeeding, she is fat. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. I'm going to put the uh, Christmas thing back up so you have something besides my drawing board to look at. Um, so they, I highly recommend a hand crank or manual sharpener for them. I do not recommend you put them in a electric sharpener. I've done it a few times, but I, I try not to um, because they are fragile. And especially if the core has already been compromised because it's so soft, I don't recommend an electric sharpener. Like, here, I'm going to pull this out real quick and show you guys. Right, and get my little drawing board to be um, cooperative. Right, really? You know, some days, guys, technology just ain't even... I can't get the bottom of my drawing board up and Oh, what the hey? But it would help if I unlocked it, I suppose. What is happening? Well, I guess I'm not going to be showing that to you. Oh, my Lord. You guys, um, I don't know. It's one of those days. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, I was going to show you something, but the bottom of my drawing board does not want to open. <laughs> it's like, alrighty then. Yeah, that's not happening. So... It's whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I recommend storage for these pencils in a case like I showed you earlier. I, this big case, you guys, like, I did it for a while. Imagine trying to store this. <laughs> okay, it, it's just, it's an absolute nightmare, you guys. It's awkward. It's not that it's especially thick. It's just so long. It It's just it, incredibly awkward to store anywhere. So I highly recommend a nice case like I showed you earlier. Okay. It just, and put them, put them back to back. Here, I'm going to show you because this is important. I found this out the hard way because my pencils were breaking and breaking and breaking and it was driving me crazy and I wasn't even using them. When you do these okay do you see how I have them end to end okay I'm gonna show you close up this is how I recommend you do them like that end to end okay because they will break less because as you open it you're not putting pressure on the ends you're putting pressure on the ends not the, the tips. You see what I'm saying? So, I highly, highly, highly recommend you store them that way. Okay? Experience has taught me this. Now, the average pencil weight is about 6.3 ounces. I looked it up. <laughs> um, the manufacturer's New Well brands. Um... Their main ingredients, and I looked this up because, you know what, I was curious. So, the main ingredients are graphite, clay, and binders. There is actually no lead in these pencils. No actual lead. Isn't that just interesting? I thought it was. <laughs> um, they have been in production since 1938. They were made in the U.S., and when they were, their quality was better. But they have outsourced to Mexico, and their quality has kind of plummeted a little bit. They're still worth buying because the price also dropped. So, it, you know, it's still worth getting. Um, I recommend a vellum surface or a Bristol surface due to the higher texture of the, uh, you know, some of like the matte, the mixed media. You would, just like I said earlier, you'll blow through your pencils. 
or have to do more layers. Um, they are uncapped. So I'm going to show you again. They are uncapped. Excuse the itty bitty pencil. I really think they should be capped, but they've never been capped, not since the beginning. Um, sorry, the itty bitty pencil. I, I would show you the label, the thing on it, but I just, my light does not want to make it happen. I don't know why. Um, so that's kind of that. Now, as to similarities, uh, I would say they both have a pretty large selection. Uh, one has 150 and the other has 180. So that's pretty good. The barrel size is about the same. Um, I do like the fact that the front for the store are capped. Um, and they lay down, uh, they both lay down rather richly. Although I would say the Prisma definitely is a little more pigmented. Um, but, um, you know, the Prismas are going to be softer because they're a wax clay based pencil but the Brunforders man they blend pretty well for their in their own right um these pen, the, not these ones the Brunfordners can go in an electric sharpener really well no problems as long as it's sharp and not dull um I have an Afmat uh electric that has like five different holes it's great um so but the, these ones hand crank or or handheld one do not, do not put these in an electric sharpener. You will probably regret it. So, there's that. Now, the other thing that I have to show you is these. I'm going to take a drink here. All right. I thought this would be worth doing to help you guys see some uh, live, you know, comparisons. Um, so in here I have my front funners. Uh, don't you love this case, guys? Check it out. Huh? Uh, I got this at the Dollar Tree, and like, I love it. It's just, it tickles me, silly. I, I don't know. Um, and then I got this one at Michael's. So, and this one has my Christmas. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Oops, I'm not going to bump the dang camera. All right. We're going to do some comparison swatching. So, I'm going to look for my true, true green which I believe is this one. No, yeah, true green. That is, let me get this here. Ta-da! That is the true green. Whoops, there we go. Okay. So, I'm going to lay this one down. And hopefully you guys can see. Maybe I could turn this differently now that my, yeah, my, the reflection off of the laminate was just, like I said, I didn't want you guys to think, you know, I have three sh bulbs, like, separated, and I was like, and people are going to think aliens are coming down in my house or something. So, let's tighten this focus up a little bit, so you guys can see. I mean, don't get me wrong, Prismas are still amazing. They are still absolutely worth getting. Um, I just kind of prefer uh, the Derwent Color Softs. I know a lot of people don't like them. I, I don't know why, but I was like, whoa, these are amazing. <laughs> uh, I think it's one of those pencils that you either love it or you hate them. 
Um, but I like a lot of Derwin's products, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do another review on that sometime. But, uh, yeah. And let's see if I can find the equivalent, which is, I believe, the spring green, according to here. And we'll do that. This is probably going to end up being a somewhat of a long video. Um, I might put it into two parts. I'm not sure. Now you can tell that they they do lay down differently. Um, like I used a lighter hand with the Prismas too, but as you can see, the 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 um, spray the uh, the the <laughs> Brofners lay down with more of um, a softer a uh, softer appearance. That's kind of the oil that's in them. Um, Let's see if I can get one of my blending pencils. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. I'm going to see if I can find them. Oh, one other thing I highly recommend. Now, this is a rabbit trail, but I'm going to show you guys these. I got this off of Appetite for Color. Tanya, thank you for introducing me to these. If you see this video, thank you. I knew about this because of her. So, Tanya, thank you, hon. <laughs> these are amazing this way you don't smear especially with pencils like these you don't want to it, it won't smear the oils in your hand won't smear they are amazing i highly recommend them so having said that i'm going to give this a quick sharpen this is also a very good sharpener uh stadler very good sharpener has two holes pretty good so I like, sorry, I like the um, Prismir, Prisma uh, pen, blender pencils, honestly, way better than the Karandash. They don't, I don't have to push as hard, they don't lay down as much wax, and yet they still burnish. You know, I, I, I just, I know people are like totally devoted to them. Um, I tried them, and I liked them for a while, but then I realized they were causing my arthritic hands to just blow up and I just like and eh, unless it's like tiny little areas yes but otherwise no <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to blend the bottom half so you guys can see what it looks like blended and and then leaves the top half unblended now the other thing that i also use is gamsol um i don't think i'm going to use gamsol for this particular project um it it is its own animal also um there is definitely a learning curve to them less is more <laughs> is the key um and blotting before usage uh you know it's they are they they are a learning curve. Um, so that's what they look like. Woo! Sorry, had a frame. That's what they look like. Blended and not blended. So I hope you can see that good enough. Um, so I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna do a couple of these and. Uh, and I'll blend them for you guys, okay? Okay, so I'm back. And while I was on pause, I doing a couple of these. I found this. This is the sharpener I was talking about a minute ago. You didn't hear that. That is my stove. Sorry. It's about dinner time. Um, yeah, this German made steel. It it really it is an amazing sharpener. Just you know, Google handheld sharpeners uh, on Amazon and it should come up. I mean, whoops, sorry, my bad. Nick, great. I mean, it's for a short, medium, and long point basically. 
it's these are great for um the prism pencils and i'm going to show you i uh, don't have anything to put the shavings on that's the only bad thing um uh, all right so basically you just stick it in there and then if, depending on which point you want so i'm going to do it over here because i that way the shavings will not go on the floor but go on my table now and that you just look at the point whoops okay there <laughs> sorry ah okay there's look at the point on that isn't that amazing that came from this so this one works good too, but honestly, uh, this one works better. <laughs> and there also is the Dolly handheld sharpeners. They work pretty good too, but that little German one, mm, something special. All right. So I'm going to get up my little thing here. Oh, sorry, I keep knocking the camera. All right. Um, you know what? I have something else I need to do. I'm just grabbing from my other board. I have a couple of them. Excuse me while I do this. I got this board at Blick.com, by the way. It's pretty amazing, is it not? Look at that. See? How awesome is that? I'll, I'll scroll back so you guys can see. How awesome is that? <laughs> so anyway. Oops. All right. Hopefully that's not too shadowy. There we go. All right. It's awkward for me, but the main thing is that you guys can see. So, yeah, hold on. This thing's being stubborn. Okay. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. I'm having technical difficulties. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Uh, you know, YouTubing is... There's definitely a learning curve. Sorry about the bumps and wobbles and stuff. I am very much still learning a lot of things. And, uh, you know, I... Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody who supports me and, and you know, helps boost my confidence. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it, and I, I don't mind if somebody has a, you know, constructive criticism. I have no problem with that. Uh, you know, how, that's how, one of the ways we learn, you know, is to, you know, point out where maybe we could do better. And that goes for kind of life in general, really. Now, I will say to this, some of the... Some of the brute printers blend bet well blend better or burnish better than others. The lighter ones tend to burnish to me a little bit better than the darker ones. Um, as you can see here, hopefully. Yes. Well, no. Ah, that's not gonna work either. Hold on, guys. I gotta adjust my oop, band. I apologize for bumping the camera. It's just, yeah, I, it's where I had to place my tripod so that you guys can hopefully see the best. Occasionally, my arm kind of hits it, so. But anywho, that is what the dark brown in the prisma and the brown in the burnt look like after they have been uh, burnished. So I'm going to go ahead and do the... Violet and dark purple. 
Violet being the Prisma. And also when you're using these kind of blender pencils, I highly recommend, or even your tortellines or whatever they call them, of A, keeping them sharp, and B, just uh, kind of cleaning off the tip because it wax or oil, whatever, will accumulate, uh, and you will end up uh, smearing your work into other places that you might not want it. So that's just uh, food for thought. Oh, wow, that's unusual. Huh, look at that. That's kind of unusual. That almost never happens. Okay, pardon your ears. Sorry, that's my electric sharpener. Oh, you know, I forgot to turn my music on too. I'm sorry. My bad. Ugh. Not with it today. I like that happy music. Oh, that was weird. These things almost never break like that. Oh, that's so weird. I kind of like that music. I found it on uh, my Pandora. Very happy. It's by Audio, Audio Lounge. Just giving credit, Audio Lounge. Okay. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to change this again. can't believe that actually broke. That is really unusual. Pencil must be getting dry. And this one feels like it's about to break too. Huh. These don't typically break, guys. I, I really don't know what's going on. Oh, no, it's not breaking. Okay, good. Anyway, that's what that looks like. Burnished and unburnished. The... This side is Prisma, and this side is Burnt Furner. So, let's do the last one on the page. And I'm going to adjust my camera a little bit. Oops, easy for the squeakies. There we go. I should have left these up here. Now, sometimes if with these drawing boards that have the bands, sometimes a diagonal one is best. Uh, so we need a, let's see, Cerulean Mew. I gotta find my Cerulean. Let's see, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, I was looking in the wrong pencil set. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. All right, my bad. All right, so we have our cerulean in the burnt printer on the top and the electric blue on the bottom. I'll give you a comparison side by side. All right, so... I'm going to do this without bumping the camera yet again. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. You ever have days like that where it just, you're like, oh, crap, really? <laughs> mm, yeah. I think 20, 2020 was just kind of the one of those years. And 2021's, I wouldn't say it's a dumpster fire, but eh. You know what? This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Sorry. But not sorry. Uh, that's just how that goes. So, there's the cerulean blue. And here is... Let me 
wish you guys could see what you cannot. Lovely. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I feel like a dumpster fire some days. Jeez. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just shy of 53, so I don't know. I claim age. I claim old age. I don't know. All right. So... That is the electric blue and the cerulean blue in the Britfurner. So let's give this a blend here. interesting oops all right so to sum this up we have true green for the prisma spring green for the Brutfurner, dark brown for the prisma wow that's and then the brown for the brute Fender, and that is obviously staying. That's kind of a caramel almost to me. Then we have violet in the Prisma, violet perf dark purple in the brute Fender. That is a stunning color. And then electric blue in the Prisma, and cerulean blue in the brute Fender. Now I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit, and I'm going to do a few more and I will come back on to blend them okay see you in a bit okay guys I'm back um I had to take a little break to do some of these and also get dinner going <laughs> oh, never stops so back to this so pink rose for the premiere uh prisma premiere and the shallow pink for the brute printer and I'll show them at the end well oh i've got these here picked out so might as well show them to you that's these colors Ta -da. No, let's see if that's better Ooh, sorry <laughs> um and I don't know if I showed you the other two greens. Yeah, see what the ends look like. See how reflective it is? My camera just doesn't want to focus. Neither did my cell phone. I don't know. Anyway, there's that. And let's see. Um, yeah. Let's see how these look. Blended. Oh. Hold on. Watch out for your ears. Sorry. All right. Hmm. Pink rose is very, I think I must have added not enough. Huh. Hold on before I further burnish this. I'm going to deepen the color a little bit. It's a very light color. Make sure you're on camera. Okay. I hate going out of frame and I got no one to tell me. <laughs> mm. The struggle is real, people. The struggle is real. And turn your pencil every so often, especially with the Prismas. That's another thing. With the Prismas. You want to turn your pencil in your hand. Like. Okay. Every so often. Just rotate it in your hand. Because it's so soft. It will keep an even point. The, with the Brufferners. You still need to do that. But just not as much. Man I thought that was a worth, worthwhile thing. To sh tell you guys while I thought of it. Okay, and I'm cleaning off my pencil a little. You always want to do that, especially when you're changing colors that drastically, such as the 
the uh yellow to the uh from the pink to the yellow you really want to uh, clean your your burnishing pencil off I'm not sure how much this creamy yellow is showing up. It might have been a bad choice to show because it's very light. And I mean, the uncolored side, the unburnished side, I'm going to darken a little so you guys can see. I think I'm going to do the same with the, my lemon yellow. It's such a beautiful, vibrant color in both of them that I was like ah, I gotta show these guys this this color it's just one of my favorites both of them okay, my seriously I'm just wiping it off on my shirt <laughs> Oh, make sure you, I'm in frame. All right, guys. I will try to um, post links to some of the things, um, but I'm not an affiliate yet. Uh, I think I'm I'm going to be looking into it, but um, I'll do my best. If not, honestly, uh, all this stuff was bought on Amazon except for the board and the paper. This paper was bought on Blick, and the board was bought on Blick.com. And they do, I believe, ship internationally. Um, there are a few brick-and-mortar stores. Uh, I don't know exactly where they are, but... Isn't that beautiful? I so said, the, on the this side is the Prisma, and on this side is the Burt Furnace. So, there's that. I had one more I was going to do, but I don't know. I think I'm going to pause the camera. You know what? I'm actually going to do one anyway. Uh, let's see. The mulberry. Oh my gosh. It's it's worth showing you guys on camera because it's gorgeous. Shadow paint. Let's see if I can find it quickly enough. Okay, we I don't know how good this matchup is. I, um, <gasps> oh, for the love of Pete. Oops. Okay. So guys, um, I messed up. I absolutely messed up. This is not raspberry. I am sorry. This right here, this is not raspberry. This is mulberry. I, I screwed up. I think I did the wrong color. I did. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. See, I'm not perfect. I wasn't paying attention, and the late the barrels are are similar. Um, as you can tell, the um this is mulberry. Okay, it's not raspberry. That is mulberry. This one's correct. This is marine, but this is mulberry. I am so sorry. Here. Let me let me do some raspberry beside it. I am so sorry. Oh my word. Now see this is this is why I thought they looked way different. I thought my side by side comparisons can't be that off. And surely enough, they, I was like, there was a reason why they weren't the same. Now, see, if you look at this and you look at the maroon, don't they look a little bit more the same? Oh, my word. How? Hmm. Well, you know what? Mistakes happen and we just, uh, we move on. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that happened. I'm going to get this done before my husband comes home from work. 
And it's just awkward taping with him around. I love him, but, you know, it's just weird, right? <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that actually happened. All right. To those of you who are going, oh, no, that's not the same. I, I got it. <laughs> I got it, guys. So, let's, let's redo this part a little bit. And I'm not going to scratch this out yet because I, you know, uh, I don't know. Dang it. That just kind of annoys me. But I'm not perfect, so. You know what? I just, I do the best I can do. I have a passion for art. I, I love it. And I love all kinds of art. That is raspberry. Okay? This is not, this is not raspberry right here. The second one is raspberry. <laughs> Oops. See, now you see why I picked the maroon with the raspberry. Just don't disregard that. Didn't happen. See? Don't they look a little bit more similar? Yeah. That's why that's... Oof. Oof. <laughs> oh, my word. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... Yeah. Let's just before I... Uh, I love this color. And once, once again, this is where the mulberry should have been in the first place. Not the other place that I mistakenly put it. You can see why. I mean, it goes much better with this one than it did the other one. That was a total oopsie. <sighs> it happens. You know, life happens. <laughs> and it ain't always perfect, and it's not always pretty. <sighs> now, let's see. Make sure we can see here. I love this apple green. It's really legitimately one of my favorite prism colors. That and mulberry. And I like the light green. Oh, well, that's a pretty good matchup. It's not quite... The apple green has more of a warm tone. The light green has more of a cool tone, undertone, but eh. So it's... It's in this ballpark. Not quite as close as I would have thought, but... Hmm. Oh well. I was guesstimating. <laughs> I think this one's not going to be quite exact either. I think I should have done 30% French gray instead of 20. I think I should have done 30% French gray on that. So, that's what that looks like. Ta -da! Ta -da! It's not 100% perfect, but this, this side is the um, Prisma. These are the, uh, that's the metallic gold and ochre and then the silver. Oops, sorry. So, yeah, that's it. I, I is done. And aside from the metallic pencils, which I put away without thinking, these are the pencils that I used for my little comparison part of it. Um, I really hope that this was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer them. Um, blessings to all of you and stay safe. Hi friends, I'm back, sorry. Uh, so, um... I got this finished 
And as a bonus, I also did some metallics. I didn't do all of the metallics from the front printer, but I did do a couple. Because I did a whole big review on them. So, you know, if you want to see more of the metallics, um, check out that review. Uh, so, I'm going to grab my little thing after I give it a sharpen. up so hopefully you guys can see me getting close sure you can see there we go So this is a set of images I did to compare the Prisma versus the Brunt Furner on like hard card stock. Um, this image is actually from World of Flowers. Um, as you can see, uh, there's my World of Wonder. <laughs> anyway, um, this was... Prisma, and this was, this image right here was the Brutfurner. Now, my uh, impression is that the Brutfurners um, require a lot less effort to blend on this type of hard, like, cardstock-like paper that's a little bit smoother than the drawing paper. Um, the, it, it, they just kind of smush together a little more easily. Um, the Prisma, uh, well, as you can see, I got it to look very nice. I'm actually really proud of this picture. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I had to be extra, extra careful um, to not get streaks or wax blooms, and I had to work at blending it a little bit more. Prismas are great for a um, uh, paper with a little more texture but not too much. Not like mixed media, but more like, a, a, as I said earlier, like a light to medium drawing weight type paper. Um, you know, that to me works better than um, on, on that kind of paper versus uh, this kind of paper. This kind of paper, see, that was a, um, that was our Black Widow, by the way. And that's, even though that's wax, it's a harder pencil. Uh, Ergosauce would be good on this kind of paper. But as you can see, to me, look at the difference between the Brutfurner and the Prisma. I mean, the Prisma is very nice, and I'm really happy with it. However, Look at that brunt furner. I mean, that, I, I'm so proud of that picture, but it, it's just the way the brunt furners lay down on, on the, this kind of paper. So, while Prismas are clearly doable, um, I recommend either like a harder wax pencil like the Black Widow or the brunt furners. So, if I had to choose between the Prisma or the brunt furners for this kind of paper, I would choose the brunt furners. So I just thought I would throw that in because I thought, well, you know, it would be good for you guys to see a different kind of paper to see how these pencils kind of compare and contrast on a totally different kind of paper. So I hope you find it useful.